Around July, the year 2016, I was invited to speak in an event in the biggest city in my country. Since I was living in a little town, I would need to know how I could move around easily when I get to the city. So I called one of my friends to guide me. My friend told me that I could easily go around the city with Uber and coming from a little town, it was the first time I got to know what Uber is. But I didn't just know how Uber works. I asked myself, if a company can revolutionize the transport industry as Uber did, can another company try to do the same in the agricultural industry? The next thing I did was to study the Uber business model and from there, I was able to build a company using the same business model of Uber. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how you can discover opportunities in your country and this is going to be part 2 in the series of videos about how you can discover business opportunities. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now, here's the thing. In the part 1 of this video, I explained how every opportunity comes through changes and that if you want to discover lucrative opportunities in your country, you have to pay close attention to changes around you because changes bring opportunity. If you missed that video, there will be a link to it in the description box. In part 2, I'm going to be showing you how you can steal opportunities from one industry and use it in another industry and from one country to another. Let's start from the simplest one, stealing from another country or state. In the 20th century when Rockefeller was in the kerosene business, after selling his kerosene for a while in the United States, he set his eyes on India and decided to dominate the kerosene market in India. He succeeds not because he was smart but because humans are similar everywhere in the world. Forget all the hate speech and racism. At the heart of it all, we are very much alike. Because of this, you can be sure that a business idea that worked very well in Germany can work in France or Africa. If you want to discover lucrative opportunities in your country, you might do well by starting from outside your country. You might do well by paying attention to what is going on in the other parts of the world because the new product or service everyone is crazy about in the UK can make everyone crazy in the US and Africa. Study China. If anything, China is a smart thief and I love them. When China looked at the West and noticed that everyone is crazy about Google, China created its search engine called Baidu. When China noticed that everyone was crazy about Facebook, China created its social media called QQ and Weibo. This doesn't happen in a digital space alone but in every other industry. Someone watching this video will think but China is a country. Yes, China is a country but it doesn't matter. I've used the formula I'm teaching you myself and yes, I didn't become a billionaire using it but nobody needs to become a billionaire. Yes, you may not be able to achieve a great height as China because it is a country. You may not make a billion dollars but don't be deceived that success means all the money in the world. No, financial success to me doesn't mean that I must own a Ferrari. For me, financial success means that I have enough money to keep myself and family happy without having to be a slave to another man. If you study China and understand how the country steals ideas for opportunities from other countries, then you can duplicate it in your small way. Steal from other industries at the beginning of this video, I told you how I got to know about Uber. When I got to know about Uber, I loved the business model. I loved the business model and I was determined to steal it legitimately. To do that, I read as much as I could about the company and rode on Uber. Then when I rode on Uber, my objective was to interview the drivers. So I started conversations to know how the management of the company deals with the drivers and other information that may be helpful to me. After studying about Uber, I simply created a company with a similar model in the agricultural sector of my country. Yes, this company doesn't make me a millionaire but it sure does make me richer than most people which is enough for me to call success. You can do the same. You can steal from other industries and use whatever you steal for another industry legitimately. But how can you do this? Stop being a consumer. When I look at young children in my country and see how much they love to enjoy technologies like video games, computers or even the TV, I often ask myself, wouldn't it be better for us to let these children know how these technologies were made as much as we let them enjoy it? 
To me, one of the reasons why too many people are poor in the world is because most people simply don't care how things were made. Most people are just consumers, and they enjoy it. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you have to be more intentional. For instance, when I walk on a street and see a creative advert, I often pause and ask myself, why did they use these words, colors, or images? When I see a company doing something different or creative, I want to know what they are trying to achieve. When I see two companies competing with each other, I want to know about the battle and see how it ends. I think this way because I'm not a consumer. I am an entrepreneur. If you want to discover business opportunities in your country, you have to understand how big guys play their games from one industry to another. This is important because if you can pay attention to the business world in in and out of your country, you can learn a lot, and your learning can lead to a lucrative opportunity for you. Steal from your competitors. Some time ago, I was listening to the audio version of Henry Ford's autobiography. In that book. Four tells us a simple secret that can help every entrepreneur watching this, and that is, Henry Ford always bought the cars of his competitors. Ford would buy the car of his competitors, take those cars to a special corner, and study the car. Ford would drive his competitors' cars and see how they are better than his. With this understanding, he always strives to have his competitors' products. Ford can always steal their improvements and make it his. If you pay attention to my choice of words in this video, you'll notice how I used the word stealing. Yes, that's what I want to communicate with this video. I want you to understand that you don't have to be a genius to be a successful entrepreneur. I call myself a smart thief because that's what it is. By stealing, I don't mean to say you can go ahead and do something illegal. I simply mean to say that you can discover a lucrative opportunity by paying attention to what is happening on the other side of the world. And duplicate such in your country. You can build a successful company just by paying attention to what is happening in other industries and duplicate it in a new industry, just as I did when I stole Uber's business model, and it's legitimate. Don't tell me that there are no opportunities in your country. Steal one from another country. Don't tell me that you can find an opportunity to make good money. Steal one from another industry. Don't tell me that you are broke when you can steal your way into riches. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you. If you like this channel. We're happy to announce to you that our team has launched three other interesting channels. One of our new channels is called Hunt TV, where we publish inspirational videos to inspire and encourage you as you go through the harsh journey of life. Our second channel is called Fame TV, where we share with you the interesting and inspiring stories and biographies of the successful people who have achieved greatness with their lives. Our third channel is called Money TV. Which is a channel designed to use more dramatic video clips to teach you about money. Look at the description box to join our three new channels. We love you.